Hey, BJ, obviously the defense uh, had a lot of guys step up without Miles Garrett. And he told us Miles is out. He's not going to play uh, in Jacksonville. So how much confidence do you guys have as a unit now that you can, you know, continue to per perform well uh, while you're missing such a dynamic player? Uh, <clears throat> well, you know, uh, Miles' presence will uh, be missed regardless. Um, you know, uh, he's another great uh, leader for us. Um, and, you know, what he brings to the table is, uh, you know, amazing as well. Um, but we never had any doubt as far as, uh, you know, uh, the next man up. Uh, we never had any doubt uh, about anyone behind him. Uh, and, and so, you know, going into this next game, uh, you know, we go into it uh, with the same amount of confidence. Thank you, Nate. We'll go to Tony Grossi next. Hey, BJ, um, you've kind of taken over the leadership of that linebacking crew uh, since you've been here. Uh, it, we've, we've seen the Taki Taki not make a ton of plays until yesterday. So I wanted to know what his mindset was during this time. Did you see frustration in him? And how, how was he able to finally pop out? Uh, well, I'm uh, extremely uh, happy for Taki, man. Um, he definitely, uh, you know, deserve uh, the production that he was able to display yesterday. Um, uh, all along, uh, he's been, you know, just grinding and uh, just chucking at the bit of getting better um, each and every day. Um, and and that's all that you can ask for, for uh, from anyone. And uh, he's done that. And, uh, you know, uh, yesterday was one of the days that he, you know, reaped his harvest. And another question is, uh, Seems like uh, every one of the linebackers has kind of had their moment in, in, in games. You know, your interceptions and other guys have made plays. Um, do you see this as a strength of the team or, or do you guys need to be more, I mean, is there more of that to come, do you think, rather than just intermittent plays like we've seen? Uh, I, <clears throat> coming from me, I could be a little bit biased, but. Uh, I believe we have a great linebacker core, man. Um, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm confident in all of the guys, and um, I'm extremely happy to be able to go to work with those guys, man. All of us are eager to get better every single day. Um, so it's no, you know, it's no one's content with anything, and I love that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Scott Patrick, you're up next. Hey, BJ, the Eagles were able to run the ball early on you guys, and then it stopped. What was the difference? Uh, just making the adjustments on the sideline, um, making the couple uh, tweaks and adjustments on the sideline, and it was really that simple. What were those adjustments and tweaks? Uh, really, um, I, I really don't want to say or give away uh, too much. I try not to do that during my interviews, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I will say uh, we did a great job of making the adjustments uh, on the sideline and carrying it uh, on the field. Did that come from the coaching staff? making the uh, yeah. yeah, from the coaching staff and kind of what we felt as players on the field. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Mary Kay Cabot, we'll go to you. Uh, yeah, BJ, first of all, um, you know, coach told us today that, that Denzel Ward came in this morning and reported uh, that he has a calf injury and he's, he's going to undergo an MRI. Uh, mm -hmm. Would that come as a surprise to you? Did you know that, that he was hurting uh, during the game? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, you know, Denzel is a, a warrior, man. Um, I get excited when he makes plays, man. So uh, I get pretty excited. Uh, I didn't, you know, sense any, uh, you know, sense of any type of injury uh, from him. Uh, so, uh, you know, I guess we'll just, you know, see how that goes um, and hope for the best. What would it say, you know, about him if he's able to go out there and, you know, break up four passes and make the plays that he made, interception at the end, uh, mm -hmm. and all the while, we don't know when it happened, but was mm -hmm. possibly ailing with this thing? Uh, you know, uh, to be honest with, with you guys, uh, there's, there's probably a very little amount of uh, NFL players who are completely healthy coming out of camp. 
so so uh to say that someone's battling with something uh you know going through uh a game or or so is uh it's kind of like the norm uh in our world okay thanks thank you mary Kay. jeff shadell you're up next when you guys take over a game defensively like you did yesterday and um against houston can you just see the other team wearing down that uh that you have their number um to be honest with you uh uh you kind of get the feel of uh you know when the you know kind of put your you know your foot on their neck and impose your will uh but to be honest with you during the course of the game uh that's not the mindset um at all because i mean like you know uh like this this past game uh the game was close for a while and uh and, and with with it being close for a while uh you know uh you know they don't have to change their offense or go out of the way uh to do anything uh you know crazy uh you know like a team would playing for you know from far behind um and so uh we always just focusing on executing and uh just trying to get out the field and get our uh Offense back the ball. Thank you, Jeff. Scott Petrick, you have our next question. Hey, BJ. Um, coach said that Ronnie Harrison, uh, he feels good about his chances of playing against the Jaguars after he had to leave yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. How good has Ronnie been for you guys and, like, how integral a part of the defense has he become? Oh, uh, man, uh, Ronnie is a great uh, piece uh, added to the defense. Um you know, uh, excited about uh, his play and his production, uh, his chemistry with all of us uh, as far as, uh, you know, a feel, a sense. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, as far as his chemistry uh, with, with, the rest of, with the rest of the guys, and, um, you know, uh, hopefully we have him back this week. And I want to ask you about that hit Mac Wilson had on running back down the sideline. What was your reaction to that? And does something like that send any kind of message? Uh, was it the one on the uh, running back or the tight yeah. end? The, I think the running back. He kind of knocked Denzel back a little bit, and then Mac lit him up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Mac, man. Uh, Mac, uh, you got to love it. You got to love it. Um, you know, uh, that's Mac, you know, and that's what, uh, you know, that's what, you know, to, to us, that's the norm. Uh, so, yeah. 